Welcome to the Questflow Studio page. This is where you can customize, distribute, and monetize AI agents and use it in workflows. Let's get started to help you create your first agent and add it into your workflow. On the left side, there is a control panel where you can find all the agents you created in MySpace section. In the approval section, this is where you approve AI agents work in your workflow. You can use those usage log in the future to fine tune your AI agents as well. On the right side of the screen, you find all the AI agents workflows and bots that you have created and also some templates to help you get started. You could choose to start with a template or you could choose to create a new one from scratch. If you create a new one, there are three different types. One is AI agent where you create a specialized agent for a need. Second is flow where you create a cross platform automation using an easy drag and drop editor. And third is bots, where you integrate your AI agents into third-party applications. Let's start with an agent in this case. If we create an AI agent, there are three different types. One is text completion, where you use AI to help you write things. And the second is chat mode, where you use AI you can chat uh, using just like a chatbot. And third, there is an image generation, where you use AI to generate image. In this case, let's start with a template and create AI agents from scratch. Let's pick daily industry news as, a, as an example. If you pick it, you can see the explore detailed page about what daily industry news do, and you can try it out. If you want to use it, simply click customize, and you can customize your own agent. If you want to add it into a workflow, simply click add to flow, and you can add it into a cross-platform workflow. Let's custom customize in this case. If we click customize, simply pick your cover image, title, category, and description, and create a new one. After you create a new one, you go to the no code editor of the agent. There are three main sec sections. One is the input section, where you write prompts, set up variables, choose third party plugins, and choose your training data set for the agent. On the right side, that's the output section, where you test out the input of your agent. On, on the left side, there is a setting page and also there's a template uh, for your needs. Let's say we want to add a new plugin in this case. We add Wikipedia uh, as a new plugin and also we add a new variable called language. You can choose to upload your PDF file as training set, and in the future, you can choose to use your Notion file, your database as well. Let's test it out to see if it's working based on our own needs. As you can see, the results that it's outputting is matching what I want, so I really like it. And you can choose to stop it, you can choose to like do it one more time, or you can add more groups to test out different results. Then uh, simply pub click publish. While you click publish, there are two different options. One is public, you share with the market. The second is private, you save for yourself. Let's choose private in this case. Once you publish it, you can go back to the dashboard and create a workflow using the AI, or you can simply just use the AI on itself. If you refresh the page, you will see there's already a published data industry news, which is created uh, just by you. And you can run it in your new tab, which is uh, simply running mode. You can just try it out, or you can add it into a workflow. In order to add it into a workflow, simply click the button on the top and add it to my flow, and then you will go to the workflow editor page.